Hello and welcome to our Burns Virtual Social for 2021. What you're about to see are the edited highlights of last night's uh, get together on Zoom. Uh, there were some technical problems which I edited out, so I hope you enjoy uh, the next uh, 45 or so minutes of our tribute to Burns. There was a lad who was born in Kyle, but what in a day, oh, what in a style. A dude that's hardly worth a while to be so nice with Robin. Our monarch's hidden most year but in was five and twenty days began. Twas then the blast of Janwa wind blew Hansel in on Robin. Robin was a roving boy, ranting, roving, ranting, roving. Robin was a roving boy, ranting, rowing, roving. That was an autobiographical poem written by Burns. Uh, about himself and in that it tells you of course he was born the monarchs in most year but ain which is the the year before the last year of the monarchs uh, 25 days began and it was in January so on the 25th of January 1759 Burns was born and what to, we're going to do in the following is highlight some of his poetry his songs his music and we're going to start by looking at a dance that's uh, a very straightforward dance. Uh, everybody knows it, I think, corn rigs. Uh, in this edition, which is danced by the demonstration team at Crystal Lodge uh, a couple of years ago, we have uh, the original dance and then certain things change as we go along. So I hope you're going to enjoy it just to get us into it the verse that uh, Corn Riggs is named after, which is Riggs of Barley. It's about Burns taking one of the lassies into a um, barley field uh, in the evening. And this is how we wrote it. It was upon a Lammas night when Corn Riggs of Bonnie, beneath the moon's unclouded sky, I held a wall with Annie. The time flew by with tentless heed till tween the late and early, with small persuasion, she agreed to see me through the barley. Corn rigs and barley rigs, corn rigs are bonny. I'll ne'er forget that happy night among the rigs we Annie. <laughs> Thank you. 
that was uh, our version of Corn Rigs. I hope you enjoyed it. And now we're going to have Ian Fraser reciting a part of the poem to a louse. The reason I say part is we had some technical problems uh, with uh, Ian's feed last night and we really only captured the last part of it. So uh, just as an introduction, the poem is called To a Louse. And it was written by Burns having attended a church service and seeing a louse walking up the hat of the lady in front of him. And he thought, oh, well, why not write a, a poem about it? So here are the first two verses, and then Ian will give you the rest. Ah, where are you going, you Crowley Fairly? Your imp impudence protects you sairly. I canna say, but you strut rarely o'er gauze and lace. But faith, I fear you'll dine sa sparely on sick a place. Ye ugly, creeping, blasted warner, detested, shunned by saint and sinner, how dare you set your fit upon her, say fine a lady, Go somewhere else else and seek for your dinner on some poor body. Settle your thick plantations. No, hold you there. Hold you there. You're out of sight. Ah. Below the fat will snug and ticked. Nay, faith you yet, you'll no be wrecked till you've got on it. The very topmost towering height will miss his bonnet. I wouldn't have been surprised to spy on an old wife's flannel toy or Ablin some coat. But Miss Fine Lunardi, fie, how dare you do that? Oh, oh Jenny, didn't you toss your head and set your beauty to a breed? Your little ken with custard speed the blast is making. They wink. And finger ends, I dread, are notice taken. Oh, would some power the gift to years <laughs> to see yourself as others? Yes, it would for money a blunder, free us and foolish notion. What airs and dress and gait would lead us, and even devotion. Here endeth the lesson. I like that. How was it for you? That's a time-worn phrase. Go for a smoke. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. So, so next time you're all in church and you see a louse on the lady in front of you, that's what you have to say to them. Yes, so, obviously. Thank you very much, Ian. Um, I've got various other people doing poems tonight, but they all preferred to record so thanks to Ian for actually doing this live for us because that, that takes a little bit of extra doing, I think. Well, really so well done, uh, uh, well done, Ian. Thanks very much. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, see another dance. And the reason that we're seeing this dance is it's got, a th um, it's to three Burns tunes, Ye Banks and Braes of Bonnie Doon, Call the Yows to the Nows, and Scots Wahe. Uh, we might be singing uh, some of those uh, later on with Gary as well. But for now, we're going to uh, see the Dem team again at Crystal View Lodge, and they're dancing the waltz, Janet's Delight. <laughs>
All right, so that was uh, uh, that was the uh, demonstration team dancing Janet's Delight. Anyway, uh, next thing we have is Gail Davidson, Davidson and Gail is going to uh, recite a poem for us. And this one is Joe Anderson, my Joe. Just to give you a, a little um, background to this one, it's uh, written by Burns about a couple who are, are obviously uh, a long-term relationship and it's about growing old, something that none of us know about, but it's uh, a couple staying together <laughs> all the way through. So uh, here is uh, Will with Joe Anderson, my Joe. John Anderson, my Joe, John. When we were first acquaint, your locks were like the raven, your bonny brow was brent, but now your brow is bent, Joan. Your locks are like the snow. Yet blessings on your frosty pall, John Anderson, my Joe. John Anderson, my Joe, we climbed the hill together on many a county day, Joan. We've had we one another. Now we must trot her down, John, and hand in hand we'll go and sleep together at the foot. John Anderson, my Joe. John Anderson, my Joe. Thanks very much, Gail. That was that was great. You can hear you can feel the silent clapping from people uh, along the top of the, the, the picture there. Uh, now, uh, now what we're going, going to do is we're going, going to, to um, have a sing-along because you can't just can't sit there and do nothing. You've got, got to join in as well. So I'm busy trying to find uh, Gary and Debbie. And All right, we're singing in the key of Gary. <laughs> Get a body, meet a body, coming through the rye. Gin a body, kiss a body, need a body, cry. Ilka lassie has her laddie, nay say they can I. Yet all the lads they smile at me when coming through the rye. Get a body, meet a body, coming through the town. Get a body, kiss a body, need a body crown. Ilka lassie has her laddie, nay say they I. Yet all the lads they smile at me when coming through the rye. Get a body, meet a body, come and pray the well. Get a body, kiss a body, need a body tell. Ilka lassie has her laddie, nay say they have I. Yet all the lads they smile at me when coming through the ride. I think everybody's singing very quietly. <laughs> I think everybody else ha everybody else has to be muted. He's on. Yeah, we're all on mute. I can't get them to stop. I can't get there. Gary, um, could you, you're now muted. Could you unmute mute? All right. Sorry I'll start about again. That. Everybody else is muted now. There's a good old Scottish custom that has stood the best of time. 
It's a custom that's been carried out in every land and clime. When brother Scots are gathered, it's I the usual thing. And just before we say goodnight, we fill our cups and sing. Just a wee duck and Doris, just a wee drop, that's all. Just a wee drop and Doris, a for ye gang of wall. There's a wee wifey waiting in a wee bot and then. If you can say it's a broad wreck, moon lick night, you're all right, you can. Now I like a man that is a man, a man that's straight and fair, the kind of man that will and can, and in the things you share. Fuck, I like a man, a jolly man, the kind of man you know, the chap that steps up, the chap that slaps your back and says, Jock, just before you go, just a wee duck. And Doris, just a wee dog, that's all. Just a wee drop, and Doris, a for ye gang of wall. There's a wee wifey waiting, and a wee button then. If you can say it's a brawbreck moonlit night, you're all right, you can. Bye. Yon bonny banks and by yon bonny braes, where the sun, where the sun shines bright on Loch Lomond, where me and my true love will never be again. On the bonny bonny banks of Loch Lomond, oh, you take the high road and I'll take the low road, and I'll be in Scotland afore ye. But me and my true love will never meet again on the bonny, bonny banks of Loch Lomond. Twas there that we parted in yon shady glen on the steep, steep side of Ben Lomond, where purple, so fearful hue, the highland hills we view. And the moon coming out in the gloaming. Oh, you take the high road and I'll take the low road. And I'll be in Scotland afore ye. But me and my true love will never meet again on the funny, funny banks of Loch Lomond. The wee birdies sing and the wildflowers spring. And in sunshine the waters are sleeping. But the broken hearted kens nay second spring again, though the war will fully may cease from leaving. Oh, you take the high road and I'll take the low road, and I'll be in Scotland afore ye. But me and my true love will never meet again. On the bunny, bunny banks of Loch Lomond. Step gaily on we go, heel for heel and toe for toe, arm and arm and row on row, on for Barry's wedding. Over hills and up and down, myrtle green and brack and brown, past the shealings through the town, all for sake of Barry. Step we ailey on we go, heel on heel and toe for toe, arm and arm and row on row, all for Barry's wedding. Red her cheeks as rowan are, bright her eye as any star, fair as of the mar, my far is a marling wedding. Freely on we go, heel for heel and toe for toe, arm in arm and row on row, all for Murray's wedding. Plenty herring, plenty meal, plenty people for free of farmy ponies as they wheel, that's for Murray's wedding. Freely on we go, heel for heel and toe for toe, arm in arm and row on row, all for Murray's wedding. My apologies for changing the words. Playing the piano and singing at the same time is challenging. <laughs>
Thank you very much, Gary. Now, actually, Gary's uh, not just doing this thing along with us. Uh, one of the things that Gary's been doing during the lockdown pandemic is he's been leading sing-alongs at a lot of seniors' residences around town via Zoom. So I, I think uh, we all appreciate that uh, Gary's doing his bit to keep everybody's uh, spirits up. Thanks very much, Gary. And Gary will be back a little later with another uh, with another round of songs to join in. Some of which will be Burns, and some which obviously aren't Burns. We're going back to some Burns poetry now, and Elma Mooney has uh, a poem for you. Uh, and this time, it's not a louse, but it's very close. It's a bit bigger. It's a mouse. And uh, she talks about what happens when Burns goes uh, through the fields plowing because he was a farmer, and he upsets a mouse nest. He looks at the mouse and he addresses that particular mouse. Uh, and again, it shows the depth of some of Burns' thoughts. So here we have Elma with an address to the a mouse. Hello, everyone. I'd like to recite a poem by Robert Burns, written in 1785, to a mouse, and turning her up in her nest with a plug. We slick it current timorous beastie, oh what a panic's in thy breasty. Thou needna start a war so hasty, wi bicker and brattle. I would be laith to run and chase thee, wi murder and paddle. I'm truly sorry man's dominion has broken nature's social union and justifies that ill opinion. Pardon? I don't know why else but thou me thieve. What then, poor beastie, thou mun live? A dame a necker and a thraves, a small request. I'll get a blessing with the leave and never miss it. Thy wee bit hoosie to in ruin, it silly was the winds are strewin, and nothing now to big a new in, o oh, foggage green, and bleak December's winds and suin, baith snell and keen. Thou saw the fields laid bare and waste, and weary winter coming fast, and cosy here beneath the blast, thou thought to dwell, till crash the cruel coulter passed out through thy cell. That wee bit heap o' leaves and stibble has cost thee money a weary nibble, now thou's turned out for all thy trouble, but who's are hauled? To thaw the winter's sleety dribble and cranrough cold. But mousy, thou art no thy lane, and proving foresight may be vain. The best laid schemes o' mice and men gan after gly, and lay us nought but grief and pain for promised joy. Still thou art blessed compared wi' me, the present only toucheth thee, but och. Oh, I backward cast my e prospects drear, and forward though I can see, I guess and fear. Thank you very much, Alma. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, have uh, another look at some dancing. Now I was going to have a dance quiz for you, uh, but uh, there were a bit of few technical problems. So what I did was I put together a medal of, of three dances with titles uh, that uh, associate with Burns. Uh, one of the dances we know very well uh, because we do it quite frequently and that's the White Cocaine. Uh, the other two dancers, the dances are the um, My Love Is But A Lassie Yet and a uh, dance called Lincoln Doddy. And just to set this up, uh, a couple of verses from uh, uh, two of the dances that you'll see. First of all, the white cocaine. My love was born in Aberdeen, the bonniest lad that e'er was seen, but now he makes our heart full sad. He's ta'en the field with a white cocaine. Oh, he's a rattling roving blade. He's a brisk and bonny lad. Betide what may, my heart is glad to see my lad with a white cocaine. The white, the white cockade was a ribbon in, uh, usually in white, 
that was in the shape of a rose and it was put on the hat of uh, the, uh, the combatants on the uh, Charles Stewart side of the battles. So that's what the white cockade is. And, and as I said, it's, it's a dance that we dance often. Uh, another of the dances you'll see here uh, it is actually performed by the Edinburgh demonstration team in a show that they do every year in the, uh, in the Edinburgh Festival's Fringe. And uh, it reminds us of the uh, other side of Burns, some of his uh, uh, humorous side. Uh, he traveled around Scotland quite a lot. Um, I guess you could say on his book tours, uh, if they called them that at, back then. And he was down in the uh, south of Scotland on the border area uh, in a place called Lincoln Doddy. And uh, he met with a friend, uh, his friend, Willie Wassell, and uh, he wasn't terribly taken by Willie Wassell's wife. And this is the first verse. And I tell you, this is the tame verse. The rest of it gets a lot worse than this. Willie Wassell dwelt on Tweed, the spot they called the Lincoln Doddy. Willie was a wadster geed, could start clue with anybody. He had a wife that was dour and din. Oh, Tinkler Meiji was her mother, sick a wife as Willie had. I wouldn't give a button for her. So here are the, the dances. Uh, one is danced by a group in Moscow. One is danced by a group in the US. And as I said, one is from a group in, uh, in Edinburgh, the Edinburgh demonstration team. You can just imagine yourself dancing along with them. Um, I, I heard that the Queen had been visiting uh, Air Hospital uh, before the pandemic, and she was going around the hospital, and she went into a ward, and she went up to the first patient and, and said hello to him, and he said, Fair for your honest, sonsy face, great chieftain, the pardon race, so bend them all, you tap your face, paint stripe, and there. She looked at him, nodded, and moved on. And uh, then uh, the next thing she did was she uh, went up to the next patient and said, um, uh, how are you today? And he said, oh, um, some hay meat and cannot eat and some would eat but want it, but we hay meat and we can eat. So let the Lord be thanked. So she smiled at him and moved on to the next patient and said, 
hello, how are you? And he said, we sleep at Corden Timorous Beastie. Oh, what a panic's in that Beastie. You need to start a way, say, hasty way, brick and brattle. I would be lathe to run and chase thee with murder and prattle. So she smiled at him graciously. And as she was leaving the ward, she said to the, uh, the, dog, the doctor accompanying her, uh, was that the mental patient ward? And he said, no, that was the Burns unit. So anyway, uh, I did, I gave you a little glimpse of what we're uh, going to uh, see ne next in one of the poems, and that is the address to the Haggis. So uh, this is the official address to Haggis, so you should have your dram ready, because at the end we're going to toast the Haggis. Uh, I'm not going to do it tonight. I didn't think this was the right surrounding to be doing something like this. Like well, uh, I found a video, uh, thanks to Chris, of uh, Jim doing it at one of our socials a couple of years ago. Uh, quite often we get the complaint to uh, about this that um, some of you don't fully understand the words. So believe it or not, I've added subtitles. So nobody will be able to say that they didn't understand what Jim was saying. So here we have Jim come, bringing in the haggis on one occasion and then addressing it on another occasion. You'll see what I mean when uh, I show you this. So here we have the address to the haggis. You tack your place, pinch, drape or turn. Wail are you worthy, O oh, grace, as lang's my arm. A groaning trencher, there you fill. Your hurties like a distant hill, your pin. Twould help to mend a mill in time of need, while through your pores the juice distilled like amber bead. His knife, see a rustic labor dyke, and cut you up with ready slight, trenching your gushing entrails bright like honey ditch. And then, oh, what a glorious sight, warm, reeking, rich. Then horn for horn, we stretch and strive, till tack the hindmost on we drive, till well, all our well-swung kites are bent like drums, and all good man may slight to ride. Thank it comes. Is there what o'er his French ragout, or oleo would stow a sow, or fricassee would back or spew with perfect scunner, looks down with sneering scornful view on sick a dinner? Poor devil. See him at his trash, as feckless as a withered rash, his spindle shank, a poor whip lash, his knave a nut. Through bloody field, or a 48 bar reel to dash, oh how unfit. The mark the rustic, head is fed, the trembling earth resounds his tread. Clapping his wally nave a blade, he'll make it whistle, and arms, and legs, and heads will stand like taps of thistle. Ye pubs, by my mankind, your care, and dishes out our daily fare, all scosh at once nay stinking wear that jobs and muggies. But if you want her grateful prayer, 
We had the address of the haggis. The, uh, we're near the end. We're going to have a little bit of a sing along again in, in a couple of minutes. And uh, then we'll bring the proceedings to an end in terms of the formal program. But we'll be leaving this open so we can all chat amongst ourselves afterwards. So, uh, next thing we're going to do is uh, have a look at the, um, a dance that was performed by the demonstration team on the um, uh, on Parton Day at the Parliament buildings. And it's called the um, Star of Rabbi Burns. Now, the poem of, that this is written to in the music uh, are not Burns. They're uh, something that was written over 100 years after his death, but in his honor. Uh, so the dance is the Star of Rabbi Burns. And the, the first uh, verse and chorus of that particular poem is, there is a star whose beaming ray is shed on every clime. It shines by night, it shines by day, and there grows dim with time. It rose upon the banks of air, it shone on Dune's clear stream. A hundred years are gain and mere, yet brighter grows its beam. Let kings and courtiers rise and fall, the world many turns, but brightly beams aboon them all, the star. Rabbi Burns.
um, Robert Burns and his brother Gilbert were leaning, leaning over the farmyard wall, watching the hens and the cockerels scratching about. One of the hens gave the cockerel the eye, and he started to strut across the yard uh, to do his manly duty. Just then, the farmer came out and scattered about seeds about the yard. The cockerel stopped and started uh, to pick at the seeds. On seeing this, Bradley turned to his brother and said, Gilbert, I pray I will never be as hungry as that. I think it's uh, time for a sing-along again. My love is like a red, red rose that's newly sprung in spring. My love is like a melody so sweetly played in tune. As fair thou art, my bonny lad, so deep in love am I. And I will love thee still, my dear, though all the seas can dry. Oh, all the seas can dry, my dear, and rocks melt with the sun. And I will love thee still, my dear, though snow the stands of run. So fare thee well, my only love, and fare thee well a while. And I will come to you again, though it were ten thousand miles. Though it were ten thousand miles, my dear, though it were ten thousand miles, and I will come to you again, though it were ten thousand miles. So fare thee well, my only love, and fare thee well a while, and I will come to you again, though it were ten thousand miles. Banks and braids of bonny dune, how can ye bloom, say fresh and fair? How can ye chant, ye little birds, and I'm say weary for a care? Ye break my heart, ye warbling bird, that wanton through the flowering thorn. Ye mind me of departing joys, departed never to return. Oft have I rode by dawny doom to see the rose and woodbine thine, and ilk a bird sang of its love and fondly sang did O mine. With love's own heart I stretch my hand and put a rose but from the tree. But my first loves stole the rose and left and left the thorn with me. Ye banks and braids of bonny doom, how can ye bloom say fresh and fair? How can ye chant, ye little birds, and I'm say weary for a care? Ye break my heart, ye warbling bird, that wanton through the flowering thorn. Ye mind me of departed joys, departed never to Scots will hey, with Wallace bled, Scots from Bruce has often led. Welcome to our glory bed, or to victory. Now's the day and now's the hour, see the front of battle roar. See approaching Edward's power, chains and slavery. What will be a traitor's name when to 
can fill a coward's grave. What's a base as be a slave? Let him turn and flee. What for Scotland's king and law? Freedom sword and strongly draw. Freeman stand or freeman fall. Let him follow me. By oppression, woe and pain, be your sons a civil change. We will drain our dearest veins, but they shall be free. Lay the proud usurpers low, tyrants fall in every foe, liberties in every blow. Let us do or die. Roman in the gloaming on the bonny banks of Fly. Roman in the gloaming with my lassie by my side. When the sun has gone to rest, that's the time that I look best. Oh, it's lovely Roman in the gloaming. Roman in the gloaming on the bonny banks of Fly. Roman in the gloaming with my lassie by my side. When the sun has gone to rest, that's the time that we love best. Oh, it's lovely Roman in the gloaming. Thank you very much, Gary. That was great. Thank, thanks, Gary. Gary's going to lead us in all that sign in a, in a minute or so. He's time. Uh, but, um, for now, uh, I'd, I'd like to thank all the people who helped put this together, Gary being one of them, uh, very kind of him, and Ian, and Gail, and Elma, who recited the poetry, and all the people who seem to dance in the different dances we have. Uh, just before we go, one last uh, thought about Burns. We, we've heard him addressing mice and lice and various other things, and and talking about a lady whose appearance obviously didn't uh, affect him. But there was lots of depths to Burns poetry as well. And I thought we'd finish with a particular um, poem that I think with lots of Scots, it's, it's their favorite. And it, it encapsulates uh, Burns' thoughts about the world. Uh, he was probably one of the first socialists around. And it's from a man, the man from all that, the last birth. Then let us pray that come it may, as come it will for all that, that sense and work, O all the earth, shall bear the green and all that. For all that and all that, it's coming yet for all that, that man to man, the world over, shall brothers for all that. And this year, where, where we can't all get together, dance together and celebrate birds. It's, 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 it's important to realize that during the pandemic, that we all love the whole world and, and we all work together to get rid of this. So thank you all very much. Um, we're going to stay on so we can chat amongst ourselves afterwards. Uh, in the meantime, I don't think we need to keep the words up. We just need Gary to be in the tune and grab whoever's next to you or whatever's next to you if you've got nobody next to you and uh, join in the singing of All Van Sign. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne? For old lang syne, my dear, for old lang syne, we'll take a cup of kindness yet for old lang syne. And Here's a hand, my trusty fear, and gee a hand of thine. We'll take a right, we'll willy want for old Lang Syne. For old Lang Syne, my dear, for old Lang Syne. We'll take a cup of kindness yet for old Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Hooray.